Welcome back to our IB Biology video series. This is the fifth video in IB Biology Topic 11, Animal Physiology, where we will be looking at eugenesis, spermatogenesis, gamete structure, and fertilization. From our IB Biology Topic 6 video series, you should recall the structure and function of the reproductive system. However, for the higher level exam, you must also describe the formation of gametes. Let's start with females. Eugenesis is the production of egg cells in the ovaries, and it occurs only in the fetus before birth. It is considered a six-stage process. In the ovaries, germinal epithelium cells divide by mitosis and distribute through the cortex of the ovary. At four to five months old, these germ cells grow and divide by meiosis within the fetus, forming primary oocytes. By seven months of age, Primary oocytes are still within the first division of meiosis, but are now surrounded by a single layer of follicle cells. They are called primary follicles and remain unchanged until after puberty. Around 400,000 primary follicles are present in a fetus, a finite amount. Once the fetus is born and the child undergoes puberty, during each menstrual cycle, one primary follicle completes the first division of meiosis to become a mature follicle, containing a secondary oocyte and a small haploid polar cell. When stimulated by HCG, the secondary oocyte begins the second division of meiosis, but stops at prophase 2, before it is released during ovulation. The remaining follicle cells then form the corpus luteum. You should practice labelling these stages on a diagram. Let's talk through an example. A represents the primary follicle, consisting of an oocyte surrounded by follicle cells. B represents the first meiotic division, i.e. development of primary follicles. C represents the second meiotic division, i.e. proliferation of secondary follicles. D represents the formation of the mature follicle. E represents ovulation, i.e. the release of the egg. And F represents the formation of the corpus luteum. So, you now understand the formation of female gametes. Let's now cover males. Spermatogenesis is the production of sperm cells in the testes, and it occurs in the fetus and adult male, i.e. throughout life. Before we can explain the stages of spermatogenesis, it is first important to understand the anatomy of a testis. They are composed of narrow, fluid-filled tubules called seminiferous tubules with interstitial cells filling the gaps between adjacent tubules, known as Leydig cells. The outer layer of each seminiferous tubule is known as the germinal epithelium, and it contains Sertoli cells, also known as nurse cells. So, what occurs within a testi? Well, like eugenesis, spermatogenesis is considered a six-stage process. The germinal epithelium is the origin of sperm production, where cells divide by mitosis to produce diploid cells. Diploid cells then grow by mitosis to become primary spermatocytes. Primary spermatocytes then undergo the first meiotic division to produce two secondary spermatocytes. Secondary spermatocytes then undergo the second meiotic division to produce two immature sperm, named spermatids. Spermatids then associate two Sertoli cells where they mature and develop a tail. At this point, they are called spermatozoa, also known as sperm. Spermatozoa then detach and leave seminiferous tubules through the fluid-filled centre of the tubule. Like eugenesis, you need to label these stages on a diagram. In the following diagram, A represents the division of the germinal epithelium by mitosis, B represents the growth of diploid cells to form primary spermatocytes. C represents the first meiotic division to form secondary spermatocytes. D represents the second meiotic division to form spermatids. E represents the association of spermatids to Sertoli cells to form spermatozoa. And F represents the detachment of spermatozoa. A common exam question involves comparison of spermatogenesis and eugenesis. Let's cover this now. Compare and contrast the production of human male and female gametes. Remembering to involve both similarities and differences, we could say 
Both involve mitosis and differentiation for cell growth. Both involve two meiotic divisions. In spermatogenesis, millions of sperm are produced daily, whereas in eugenesis, only one egg cell is produced every 14 days. Spermatogenesis occurs throughout life, whereas eugenesis stops at menopause. Spermatogenesis involves daily mitotic divisions to produce sperm, whereas eugenesis involves mitosis to produce eggs only early in development before birth. Spermatogenesis produces four gametes during a single division of meiosis, whereas eugenesis produces one gamete and three polar bodies. So, you now understand how male and female gametes are produced. However, the IP expects you to describe the structure of sperm and egg cells in detail. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.